if you are seeing the connection refused error do not panic this is just an ssh connectivity error in this video i'll show you the five possible causes of the ssh connection refused error but first welcome to our channel our team has built multiple successful plugins that manage more than a million sites and here we help you find your website mojo we share all of our insights to help you fix issues and unlock the performance of your business sites so hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out on our weekly videos issue number 1 In order to connect to your server with SSH, it must be running an SSH daemon, a program that runs in the background to listen for and accept connections. Your server's SSH daemon may be down for a wide variety of reasons, including unexpected traffic spikes, resource outages, or even a distributed denial of service or DDoS attack. If you suspect that your SSH service might be down, you can run this command to find out. If the command line returns a status of down, then you have likely found the reason behind your connectivity error. Here's the fix: contact your hosting provider to see why your SSH SSH services in running. For local host or dedicated servers, you can use the command sudo service ssh restart to try to get it running again. Issue two: You have the wrong credentials. Silly, yes, but it is possible that you're just entering the wrong credentials when trying to connect to your server. There are four pieces of information needed to run SSH: one, the host name; the IP address of the server you're trying to connect to, or your domain name; two, username, your SFTP username; three, password, your SFTP password; four, port. The default port is 22. However, some hosting providers change their SSH port number for security reasons. The fix. You can also check to see which port is being used for SSH by running this command. Try connecting again with the correct details. Issue three: the port you're trying to use is closed. A port is simply the endpoint to which you're directed when connecting to your server. In addition to making sure you have the correct one, you'll also want to check if the port you're trying to use is open. Any open port is a security vulnerability, as hackers can try to exploit it and gain access to your server. For this reason, unused ports are often closed to prevent attacks. In the event that port 22 or the custom SSH SSH port for your server has been closed. You will likely see a connection refused error. You can see all the ports listening on your server by running this command. This command should return a list of ports with the listen state. Ideally, you want to see the port 22 or your server's custom SSH port listed here. If not, the fix is to either install an SSH daemon on the server you want to connect to, or change your firewall rules to accept connections to your SSH port. Number four, firewall settings are preventing an SSH connection. If your setup appears to be in order and you still can't connect, take a look at your firewall's rules. You can display them in your command line interface with the following commands. Your results will vary, but you'll want to look for these elements to determine if your firewall is blocking SSH connections. D port 22. This refers to the destination port, which for SSH is usually port 22. Drop. This means that the connections to the relevant port are being blocked. If you search the results of the commands above for D port 22, you should be able to determine if your firewall is preventing an SSH connection. If so, you'll have to change the rules to accept Accept requests. The fix here is to disable the firewall rules that are blocking your SSH connection by changing the destination port settings to accept. And there you have it. Here are two other helpful videos for you. Do hit that like button if you found this video helpful, and comment below if you're stuck anywhere. And I'll do my best to help you out. That's all for today. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week.